Hey, you can't pass through here. It's Nine Torg's turn. Jesus, enough with everyone getting in our way. We just want to kill Nine Torg. Yeah, right. You kill Nine Torg. Get lost, shit heel. Hey, what are you doing? Jason, Jason's dead. Welcome back to Games Radar live from Gamescom 2022. And Josh just got an early hands on with High on Life, one of my most anticipated games of the year. Tell us a little bit about it, Josh. Yeah, so High on Life is the brand new game from Squanch Games. It's sort of the brainchild of Justin Roiland, who is the co creator of Rick and Morty. And it's just this really loud, kinetic, Metroidvania first-person shooter where, you know, aliens have descended upon the Earth and they've decided that they can turn humans into drugs they can get high off. Uh, so you become an yeah. intergalactic bounty hunter trying to take down a drug cartel of weird aliens. So yeah, it's <laughs> brilliant stuff. What more could you want? And of course, the kind of major selling point here, the Swanch Games kind of angle on this is all of the guns are characters that talk to you along the way. Uh, so bounty hunting, huh? Are you really going to kill people? Actually, we, we've killed a couple people already, you know? And so did you? So soon we forget? Fine, I guess I'll just hang around at home and wait for you to do all your little murders. Are you mad at us or jealous? Uh, jealous? I want to kill evil aliens too. Almost Borderlands-esque, right? I mean, there's a little bit of inspiration there, maybe. So in the sections that you played, how many of those guns did you get to interact with? And how funny was it, I guess? Yeah, so I only got one of the guns and also a knife. Both talk. <laughs> Sometimes they talk together. They argue amongst <laughs> one another, which is very funny. Huh? You know Nine Torg? We're trying to kill her. Ah, oh, perfect. Finally, we're on the same page. Let's kill Nine Torg, then Gene. Okay, definitely Nine Torg, but l l let's put a pin in the, the whole Gene thing. H how do we get out of here? With my tether ability. I'm more than just a knife, you racist. I can tether too. Look up and latch on. Yeah, here we go. Fucking cool, right? And yeah, basically, so I think there are four different guns you know, slash four sort of companions that you have, and you can sort of switch between those as you unlock them. And they also connect to this sort of Metroidvania level design thing they're going for, where the guns have alternate fires, which basically unlock areas of different right. areas you can go to. And yeah, the guns are super fun. It is very loud. Like, I think it's going to be a little divisive in that respect, just yeah. because, you know, Rick and Morty isn't for everyone. And I, I think this is the same, but yeah, the guns are super fun. Like it, is, it feels good to shoot. The guns are literally commenting on pretty much everything you're doing. Yeah. Like as just one example, one really funny bit was you're going down into these slums and uh, this kid jumps out and he's sort of aggroing you, won't let you in the slums. He's calling you fresh meat and your character's getting really annoyed. You're like, we've got this thing to do, man. And eventually I just tried to pull the trigger. Well, look what we got here. Fresh meat. <laughs> look at fresh meat getting flustered by a little kid. Just ignore him. That suit looks dumb. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Come on, he's just a kid. D don't shoot him. Oh, you don't want to shoot me just because your gun said not to. Just because you're your little gun. Oh, but you look, look how shootable I look. I look so shootable. I am not shooting a kid. Go ahead. Do it. Shoot. You shot me, I'm dead. Eh. All right there, are you happy now? Well, I, I didn't think we'd be allowed to kill him. Yeah, normally killing children in games isn't isn't allowed, but he's dead. We killed this kid. Are, are you happy now? It's basically everything you'd want from a Rick and Morty game without those characters and that world, but sure. it's so, it feels so right. It's, yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah, so the, the interesting thing there, right, tonally, we've had those Rick and Morty game style games before from Squanch Games, Trover Saves the Universe and those kinds of things. Yeah. They've been VR focused and, and sort of not maybe as technical as a first person shooter, right? We have a lot of first person shooters in the market. They all feel fantastic. And so how does this feel as a first person shooter divorced from the Squanch games? Yeah, so that was my sort of question. My concern yeah. going in was how is this going to feel? Because, you know, gunplay is everything, right? Yeah. Um, so it's really interesting. So they, they started off as a, I think when they did Trover, they were about 20 people. Mm -hmm. They've now scaled up to 60 and they've brought staff in from like some of the best sort of shooter companies like yeah. Insomniac, a company that's known for, you know, great guns. They brought some experts in from there and a couple of others as well. So the guns, it actually turns out, feel great. Like it's kind of this, it's not like super technical. It's just kind of pull the trigger and shoot and strafing around enemies. But it really reminded me of like a Xbox 360 era first person shooter, but made with the power of the Xbox Series X. So sure. I think the thing it reminded me most of was like um, Bulletstorm. Mm. Um, you know, which was just a really sort of, again, kinetic shooter. Yeah. 
looked very silly from, from the 360 era. And that's what it kind of reminded me of, just fast, fun, and, you know, it just wants you to pull the trigger and shoot and keep moving forward. And, you know, we don't get a lot of games like that really anymore. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, like I said, it's one of my most anticipated games. So make sure you subscribe to Games Radar on YouTube. And I'm sure you will see a full review video when we finally get our hands on it. Absolutely. I can't, I can't.